Hi, it's Cindy with Mimi's Treasure Cottage, and I am off for a full day of antiquing in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. <music> So I had the most wonderful stay at the Artist's Inn, and I will share that information with you. Uh, if you're ever in the area, you would you would be pleased to stay here, that's for sure. Uh, Jan and Bruce were amazing hosts, and the home is just lovely. Uh, so I am off. It boasts a thousand vendors, antique vendors, and seven miles. So I am going to go see what wonders I can find, and I'll take you along for the ride. It's cute. everything here. Look at all the kitties. I just sold the green version of this bowl. It's the same exact pattern. I can't remember. Somebody on in the sale said they knew what, who made it, but not the pattern. I was kind of hoping that it would be marked there, but it's not. My favorite kind of sign, especially when I see cute things like this. That. Barbies. I found the Christmas booth.
So the first stop was Mother Tucker's. And so how could I not go in with a name like that? <laughs> what a fun little shop. Um, and I saw Miss Pris in the wild. I have never seen her in the wild before. So I was very excited about that. So got a lot more shopping to do. We'll keep going. All right, I am at the Pine Hills Antique Mall. We'll go in there, see if they'll let me film and uh, see what goodies we can find. I like those Napco Santas. And look at Spaghetti Santa back there. There's 20% off on everything in this booth. <clears throat> I love her, you know. <laughs> Look at the little monkeys. I like the black cats. Look at the ain't oh sorry. Look at the ain't or um artist angel. I just got one of those for me not long ago. If you guys saw. I like that little angel there. Look at all the kitty cats. Because I love the black cats. I have those shot glasses. There's 20% off in this booth. Oh, these are cute. What are these? in jeez I can't even tell Japan huh it'd help if I could see See what they got in the bag. Ooh, look at these guys. Uh, I don't need them for my collection. 
There's four of them. 30, 20% off of that is six, so they're about six dollars a piece. Oh, I don't know if I should or not. I just don't know. Look at all that's great vintage Halloween. Beautiful. I really appreciate the show. No, thank you. When the showcases have their prices hanging down like this, and I can see what the prices are. <laughs> because while somebody was just here to help me out, usually that's not the case, and I hate showcases. <laughs> Got some nice stuff in here. All right, this booth has some great stuff. Look at those. Winky Santa has his box back there. Oh, little spun head, what are they? Bunnies and chicks. But it's in a case. Popcorn Angel. Candle oh. lights. Oh, the case is open. I might have to get me some. Some nice things here. Of course, it's only 20% off over 10, which becomes an issue because <laughs> everything I like is usually under 10. I like her. Oops. I like the little angel. I like him too. I just couldn't figure out what his price was. So I am so exhausted that I wasn't going to film anymore, but then I came across a series of booths that I felt like I just had to share with you. And I feel like somebody else might have shared them at one point in time. Maybe Patrick, maybe Michael, um, Cult of Vintage, Trusty, Trusty Hudson Mercantile, I don't know. But you have to see it. It's amazing. Hang on a second. Look at this mid-century modern mecca. It's just amazing. The way it gets better. This whole section in here, the whole thing, is all mid-century modern. Look at the lamps up there. It's just amazing. Let's walk in and see. First thing that struck me was all these phones. Look at all these colorful phones. And the, the colors in here are amazing. 
Now they've swapped out all of the dials for pinup girls. I'm pretty sure they didn't come that way, but look at the color of this one. Isn't that amazing? I've never seen that color before. But here's some red ones like I have. I just bought myself a red one. I think I did pretty well. <laughs> I'm missing on mine the red. Oh, and they don't have one here either. I think they just added that. I'm missing the red cord like that. And I kind of would have really liked to have this color red as opposed to this color red. But I got it for such a good deal that I couldn't couldn't pass it up. And look at all the beautiful glassware. Look, it's gorgeous. Let me take you that way. And we got all the lights and stuff. So they are doing 20% off now because of the extravaganza that's going on. And literally, I have one day here, and I can't even, there's no way. I think I've been to six stores. I probably have time to go to maybe one more before I need to get on my way. But and there's dozens of stores along this way, along this road. It's just fabulous. Like I said, I was just walking through thinking that I was going to just get what I needed and take off, but I was like, wow. I'm waiting until I turn around and see all the chrome. Look at all that. So this is Mad, the Mad Hatter um, Antique Mall in Adamstown. And it's on the main strip where all the rest of them are. Look, here's more. And they've got it all shined up and gorgeous. And if you like all that tiki stuff, got all this wonderful tiki stuff here too. And then globes. Look at those lamps. Here's more. Oh, look at that. Huh. I like the pattern on that. Anyway, um, yeah, look at all this. Like I said, mid-century. <laughs> you like mid-century, here it is. In Pennsylvania, anyway. And got all the lucite stuff. <laughs> I was gonna say all the lucite napkin holders, but they were more than just napkin holders. All of that. And look over here, they've got linen tablecloths. Look at all the tablecloths. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And then the curtains with the bark cloth. Beautiful. It's looking out. <laughs> Wait. Look at that. There's more. It looks comfy. thermoses. Yeah, this is a cool one. I've been to several stores here in Adamstown, as you guys know, on this extravaganza. And this one is really filled with some amazing things. They've all had their thing, but I think... They've all had their thing, but I think that this is fabulous. Little mermaids. I have one of those.
very similar anyway, I inherited. Of course I have to show you all the great Christmas because I love it so much. <laughs> trying to cut the glare. I don't think it's possible. Right, so I love Joseph Originals and I pick them up whenever I can when they're at a price that I can manage. <laughs> I have her, the one that I'm right there. I have her at home um, waiting to sell her because I, she's she's actually more valuable than they have on that. That's a good price. I just have a tendency to not purchase them when they are higher priced because I don't like to have that much invested in something. But those are really good prices for those Joseph Originals. Really good. I've never seen her before, this Mindy doll, so I'm betting that that's an outstanding price. I've never seen eyes like that on them before. All right, so look at her. Do you see her name? <laughs> I think I need her someday, right? I have one like this. Thanks for joining me, everybody. If you are new to my channel, I would love if you would subscribe. Hit the bell so you know if I go live or post new content. I do have live sales every Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Eastern on my channel, and it would be so much fun if you would join us there. You don't have to purchase anything. We really have a good time in the live chat, and I also um, usually play live trivia, so it's really, really a fun time. And um, if you're new, I hope we'll see you again soon. Thanks everybody for joining me, and thanks to everybody who's been a longtime subscriber as well. I, I love you guys, and I appreciate you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.